Burning wood to heat your home can be economical and practical, but it is essential to adopt clean wood burning practices so you're getting the most heat from your wood while creating as little smoke as possible. Even the cleanest wood fires generate smoke containing harmful gases and particulate matter that can affect your health and the health of your family and neighbors. But by knowing what to burn, how to build a good fire, and when to feed it with more wood, you can minimize the amount of smoke created. Burning materials such as treated or painted wood, demolition debris, and garbage is illegal in many locations, may ruin your stove, and produces large amounts of very toxic emissions. There's only one thing that should go into our wood fires. Clean untreated wood that has been properly dried. Most people know that dry wood burns better than wet wood, but there are more ways to improve efficiency and reduce pollution when we burn wood. When lighting a fire, first remove any buildup of ash from the firebox. Start fires with small pieces of dry kindling and newspaper. Place 5 to 10 pieces of newspaper crumpled into balls in the firebox. Then place 15 to 20 pieces of dry kindling on top. Don't forget to open the vents! Light the newspaper in several different places. When the kindling is nearly burnt, place two or three small pieces of firewood on top. Use firewood that is split to the right size for your wood stove. Start with smaller pieces and work up to larger pieces. Leave the vents fully open till you have a hot fire established. Smoke should only be visible from your chimney during the starting stage of your fire. Once your fire is burning, you'll need to maintain it. Burn small hot fires. Overloading your stove then damping it down causes more smoke. Refuel when the fire has mostly burnt down to a hot bed of coals. Adding at least three pieces at a time helps sustain the fire while creating a sheltered pocket of coals. Now that you're a pro, it's important to remember that a well-maintained wood stove provides a safer, more efficient heat source than one that needs to be serviced. An annual inspection is a good idea to ensure that your appliance is working well. At the same time, you can have your chimney inspected and, if necessary, cleaned. A chimney that is coated in creosote performs poorly and is a fire hazard. Your retailer or chimney sweep can do this for you. Traditional fireplaces might look nice, but they lose most of their heat straight up the chimney. While fireplaces provide ambience for special occasions, they are not that great for heating or being a good neighbor. Remember that the smoke from your chimney may be seriously impacting the health or quality of life of your neighbors. Avoid burning during an air quality advisory, temperature inversion, or foggy conditions. Replacing old wood burning appliances or fireplaces with a modern certified wood stove like this one is a smart decision that reduces pollution and saves firewood. There can be up to a 70% reduction in smoke emissions with an EPA certified appliance. At the same time, they use up to 30% less firewood for the same amount of heat. Using a certified appliance and clean burning practices won't completely eliminate smoke, but it will greatly reduce it. Follow these clean burning practices and your wallet, your lungs, and your community will thank you.